Hey everyone, Moses here. I'm here to give you my first impression on the newest title from Arcane Studios, Prey. Right out of the gate, I want to make it clear that I've only spent about four hours playing the game and I'm still very much in the beginning stages of understanding the game, its mechanics, and its story. I'm going to cover what I initially liked it and didn't like and give you my recommendation on whether it's worth a purchase as its launch date is tomorrow or today, depending on where you are in the world. A question I've received a lot since the game came out, at least this afternoon, was how does it run on PC? Well, it runs quite well. Uh, I was running well above 100 FPS in most sections of the game on the highest settings. Mind you, I have a fairly powerful PC, but I understand the game is well optimized and I didn't run into any issues. Beyond that, the game itself echoes games of days past, and I don't say this lightly. The first 25 minutes immediately brought me back to 1998 when I was just a young lad playing Half-Life for the first time. Arcane nails the atmosphere and delivery of the introductory portion of the game, and you quickly realize this could be something special. The music and voice acting are superb, as is the environment that has been built on Talos 1, the space station where the game takes place. I won't dive into the story too much as to avoid spoilers, but there is a very familiar ride to the facility in the, in the initial part of the game that gave me quite the dose of nostalgic recall. This isn't to say that Prey is a ripoff of Half-Life in any way. It ranks familiar with cues from Bioshock, but with the lingering terror of System Shock 2 permeating the core of the game, it comes off as unique. This game is difficult to compare to any recent titles and stands on its own regardless of its obvious influences. You take on the role of Morgan Yu, a scientist with familial ties to the other core characters of the game, specifically your brother Alex. The game handles skills utilizing a set of neuro mods that allow you a large degree of choice in how you want to play the game, choosing initially from the engineer, scientist, or security slash combat trees, and later gives you the ability to incorporate powers from the aliens you encounter on the station into your skill set, similar to the vigors from Bioshock. Don't worry, you won't be setting anyone on fire or shooting crows out of your hands, as all of these skills are completely unique to the setting of the game. I didn't get a chance to get too far into that section of the tree as I was spending most of my time exploring the station and desperately searching for supplies. One thing to note is that this game seems to put a heavy emphasis on exploration and taking your time. I managed to get almost an hour into the game without finding any weapons because I failed to read some keynotes on scattered whiteboards post-it notes, and in various terminals, and missed out on many useful items because I simply wasn't paying attention. This is not a critique by any way, but underlines the point that Prey is by no means a formulaic or predictable title. I found myself frustrated early by my own ineptitude and rushing through the game, and then I had to backtrack to find valuable items to help me progress. Talos 1 is not a predictable environment either. There are many ways to get around the station, many of which are not always obvious. The key cards required to get around can be circumvented by leveling up your hacking skills, but ultimately Talos 1 is a fully realized station that isn't exactly intuitive to navigate if you aren't paying attention. This brings me to some of the things I didn't exactly enjoy when first getting started. As I previously mentioned, I made it quite far with only the wrench and the flagship weapon called the Glue Gun. The Glue Gun is a versatile weapon that allows you to create paths that might not be immediately obvious, and is also used defensively to slow down or freeze the mimics so you can take them down. The combat can be unforgiving at times as the mimics are considerably more powerful than Morgan and if you aren't careful they can easily force you to quickly deplete all of your health packs and you'll find yourself running away and hiding. Ammunition felt scarce and the weapons felt a bit underpowered. The game boasts that you can attack enemies with the environment and use various hazards and features on the station to your advantage but I frequently found that I was the one being damaged by electricity, fire, and trying desperately to traverse the many physical obstacles in the game, all the while by being attacked by uh, every coffee mug, stool, ashtray, and uh, the smallest and weakest iterations of the mimics are by far the most annoying. Think of supercharged stealthy head crabs, and that describes the quote unquote minion mimics that you encounter the most often. Prey does not let up with the enemies, and it seems like the entire station is designed specifically to make your life difficult. I did find it frustrating that early in the game it wasn't clear if I should be trying to be stealthy and sneak past enemies, or use the various weapons in the game to take them out. 
The mimics seemed to easily detect me regardless of how sneaky I felt, and ammo was in such short supply, gunfights were typically ending with me retreating, as I simply couldn't compete with all the enemies and their various abilities. The interface also leaves something to be desired, as there is not one unified back button, as sometimes you will have to press mouse 2 to back out of your weapons and abilities menu, or escape to get out of the inventory screen. However, if you hit the escape button while in your weapons and abilities wheel, the pause menu will appear. I'm chalking this one up to lack of experience, but I still found it annoying. Prey is extremely dense with information, and sometimes I felt that I had to slow down or stop to take everything in and review audio recordings more than once to determine if they were pertinent to my task or just padding the story of Talos 1 and its inhabitants. Again, I think the unifying principle with all of my critiques is that I simply wasn't taking enough time to stop and explore and to understand the various mechanics. The game has a unique crafting system that has you turning your junk and other items into reusable materials to fabricate items from plans discovered in the station. This is something I need to spend more time with, but is definitely a unique spin on vendoring and items found in the world in previous Bioshock games. There is not an obvious currency, nor are there vending machines with ammunition in them. The closest you'll come to that is a few scattered droids that can heal you or repair your suit. Ultimately, I think that Prey is definitely worthy of further investigation and I fully intend to play through the game and experience it in all its glory, perceived flaws included. So, if I were to give you my recommendation right now, I'd say that it's worth a purchase. There is an aspect to the story that makes you feel unsure of yourself and seems to indicate more than one ending, which would mean increased mileage from additional playthroughs. There is so much to take in with Prey that I can't give it a grade or a rating, but it demands further attention which I think speaks to its quality. To be sure, there are some aspects that some may find unappealing, but I also believe that we've been conditioned by years of Call of Duty, Battlefield, and other franchises that have softened us as gamers to true challenges. Prey initially does not pull any punches, and I think that's an important step in gaming culture. I'd also like to note that the game was challenging even on normal difficulty, and I imagine if you're looking to just enjoy the story, the easiest difficulty setting might still be engaging. So, as of right now, I hope that you get to experience the terrors and intricacies of Talos 1, and I look forward to seeing some of the discussions and reviews that will be coming out shortly. I think that Prey is going to be a controversial title among gamers, and I'm interested to hear your opinion, so please leave a comment below and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. I'll leave you with some more footage, and until next time, I'll see you out there. The diagnostic code is changing every time I make a request and something is preventing the car from descending. It's stuck at the top, in the Arboretum. I'll see if I can find another way up. Oh, what's this thing? Doesn't matter, I'll be dead soon. I'm just gonna put on this helmet while you guys murder me, if that's cool. Don't mind me, I'm just... Ah, ah, ah. The cytoscope was a breakthrough. Apart from neuromods, it's just... the most important Hold on. attack on Talos 1. Use it to oh, scan the type and organisms if you want to learn what makes them tick. Uh, I scanned it. I'm currently hitting it with a wrench. I saw the med kit. I'll go back for it. Uh...